Hey, what is up guys and welcome to another edition of Mesh Clips. This is where we talk about FPV news and some crazy shit I find online. So first of all, this is not really new, but I really wanted to cover it. Red Cat to acquire Fat Shark. So if you guys don't know this, Red Cat is basically Roto Riot and they're about to buy out Fat Shark, which is pretty insane. And why is that insane? Well, not too long ago, Roto Riot was broke and almost bankrupt. And now they have the capital to possibly purchase Fat Shark, which is insane. I mean, it's insane. I mean, Fat Shark is not a small company. If we go down here, it's generating approximately 7 million in revenue annually. So it's not profit, but it's it's a pretty big company. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big purchase, which is pretty insane. And why would Fat Shark sell? It just, ah, maybe there was a good price. Now, I do have some conspiracy theories. I have some in my gut feeling that just tells me, I don't know, it's, it's, it's really weird. Like, for example, lately, Rotorite has been pushing the HD DJI system quite a lot. And, you know, I've, I've been thinking about it and it's just like, maybe DJI is using Red Cat as a front to buy Fat Shark for something in the near future. And, you know, it's just I'm just thinking about all these things or maybe just they just Red Cat just got a bunch of new investors and they thought it was a really great purchase to go get Fat Shark, which would also make sense. But I'm just really curious. I really, I'm going to be really monitoring that content and see what's up with the DJI stuff on their channel. I have nothing against any of them. I love watching Rotorite, and yeah, I'm sure many of you do as well. But it is pretty interesting. I would really like to know what you guys think down below. And um, yeah, but you know, it also kind of makes sense because we also have leaked photos of the DJI FPV drone. So these were released around August 7th here. And I think there were a little bit more that have been released, but I couldn't find them. Uh, so here what we see is it's a DJI basically, or hopefully it looks like a DJI one. And look at down here, look at on the left right there. What we see is a propeller with a nut. Now, honestly, personally, maybe this is a prototype. I don't think it'll be the final version if it is, but I think DJI would not go this route. Um, it would be nice to go this route, but I think they would at least go for a Popo edition possibly. Because they're all about the ease of use. And I don't think they would go that route. Because imagine, you know, DJI sending you the, your, your drone with a tool to replace your propeller. And I'm pretty sure they're going to want to go the proprietary route and make some sort of a proprietary connector. But I could be wrong. This is just me thinking about it. Uh, how would they go about doing it? Because, um, I don't know, DJI is really big. And, and I don't know what the hell they're planning. So they're planning something for sure. Now, the FPV drone is definitely a 100% real thing. I have a friend of mine who knows a lot of the engineers in DJI. And he says, yes, they are working on it. I knew about the controller way before uh, a lot of other people, even on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'll try to get more information on this in a, in a later video so we could take a look at it. But here we go. We could, we're seeing uh, close up. You can tell it's dirty. That kind of makes it look realistic because maybe he just crashed and that's what you usually do with an FPV drone. You crash and, but I don't know. This is so, so, um, interesting. I mean, can we connect these two together or can we not? I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Now, in other side news, I have dusted off my CNC machine and I will be creating the first seven inch scene whoop. Hopefully the first seven inch scene whoop. I did quick searches online. Couldn't find anyone who's done it. So right now I'm planning on doing it for the latest seven inch build. And why am I doing it? Don't know. I just want to try it out. Maybe we could get like 10 minutes of flight time or maybe even more and have a proper setup. But I'm going to have to find a company to cut the foam for me, which should be very easy for me. I could probably talk to Flywoo or GibRC or somebody and they could probably get that cut for me. Uh, probably for free or something and we could just test it out if it comes nice and I'll probably make a kit or have that company make the kit I'll just give them the files and then you guys could actually s install them to your seven inch quadcopters So the current one I'll be prototyping is the Geb RC mark 4 seven inch because that's my latest one and um, I want to see how it goes. It's gonna be really really interesting and I want to try to keep it well, I mean, you don't have to really keep it as light as possible, but theoretically we should get way more flight time and um, yeah, it should be pretty good. I think it would be a better platform than a five inch, um, and the current platforms we're using. I mean, the current platforms are good for tight spaces, but to, to be able to do a larger one, maybe for a slightly larger space, probably would be nicer as well. I, I mean, there might be no need for it, but some people might have that use case. And I just really want to see how that goes. Maybe it comes out to be pretty awesome. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section on everything in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.